Kentucky Senator Rand Paul is proposing a bill that will allow you to take money out of your 401k tax-free and penalty-free to pay for student loans. We want to go see if this will help or hurt you. So how are you paying for college? Uh, ba uh, basically through um, my student loans. Well, most of it is being paid for by financial aid, obviously. And yeah, I didn't really have to pay much out of pocket. Half is financial aid, half is grants. I'm trying to pay like the, like the interest while I'm in school or just pay it off like while I'm in school and then so after I won't have so much. No matter what way you look at it, college is expensive. The Institute for College Access and Success reports that the average student owes $30,000 in student loans. A Twitter poll of over 3,000 people back in May showed that 42% of families are planning on using family income and savings to pay for the university bill, while 33% say they'll use student loans, with only 21% using scholarships and grants. There's really only three ways to pay for college. You either pay before, you pay during, or you pay after. And so the encouragement that I give and I think what you know, we're talking about here is to do everything you can before college. Despite their best efforts, many families who do start saving early still end up short. Ed Caressley is the director of financial aid at Angelo State University and encourages parents to apply for FAFSA and start saving as soon as possible so that taking money out of your 401k is a last resort. Education is still a great investment, but minimizing that as much as possible and not relying on either borrowing additional funds or drawing from funds that have been designated for other things like retirement. Um, or home equity that you have, which are all potentially good strategies. Now you could always take money out of your 401k, but it came with a cost. The idea behind the HELPER Act is that the money is already available in the IRA. If you're paying back your loans, the money you're using is already taxed. But if this bill passes, you can use money that is untaxed. It becomes taxed, number one, and then there's a, another um, additional tax or penalty for the early withdrawal of those funds. And to have that go away um, for education, in principle and in general, sounds like a good idea to me. Critics of the bill say it's unlikely for people to have both money in a 401k and student debt. They also believe that taking money from your retirement will cause more harm than good in the long run. Caressly, however, still sees the benefits that the act could provide. How different is that than borrowing through other vehicles for education and having that um, uh, uh, liability, that, that burden? Senator Rand Paul also believes that this is a better alternative to Democrats' free college plan. The bill is still in the first stage of the legislative process. For Fox West Texas, I'm Sydney Timmer.